This is a West Texas A&M University Bandcamp Even Year Mallet Tutorial and Run-Throughs. So we are starting with the theme. I have the metronome at 80. If you need to slow it down, you can slow it down on YouTube or Ensemble Block. So let's okay. kind of talk through this real quick. Remember, always think about the rhythm first, okay? Make sure you're looking at your music at all times. Look at the music with me and count the rhythm. One, two, ready, go. One, three, one, two, three, one, three, four, one, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, dotted note off, off on four. Okay, number two is the key. We have three flats. What scale has three flats? Look through your cheat sheet if you need to, but you should have this memorized by now. The E flat scale. So let's do the first part of hotel and review that key. One, two, right hand on the bottom, go. Okay, make sure you're comfortable in that key. So that means if you have an E, you're going to have E flat. If you have an A, it's going to be A flat. And if you have a B, it's going to be B flat. They don't have to write it in. It's in the key signature. Okay. Number three is looking at our range. I already looked through this whole piece, each variation and theme. Our lowest note is D, and we also know our top range is high C. So send your music and your body in between there. Now, <clears throat> you can go through all the steps we've talked about in class. This is a quick tutorial, so we're assuming that you know some of the stuff we talked about in class. So one, try to do the dynamics while you're learning it. Two, pay attention to all the things we talked about in the class and all the things I've written in for you, like your stickings, like when I draw which hand is stacked on top. Okay, so I'm just going to start from the beginning and go at a quicker pace. Here is the first note E flat. I show you that the left is stacked on top for this roll. Okay, we're at mezzo forte and we're rolling. Make sure you roll, you're playing nice and low. And then it's tied. One, two, three, four. Try that. Ready and go. One, two, three, four. So when we tie it, we want to connect it and make sure there's not a gap. We don't want that gap. We want it to be connected. Move your right hand first. Ready? Go. One. Ready? And go. All right. Let's look, move on to measure two. So we have G, E flat, and F. Make sure you're always reading the music while we're doing this, okay? Second line G, and then on the bottom line E flat. And I have the sticking right, left, right. And again, my left hand stacked on top. Okay, now this next roll is not tied. When we go to measure three, we're going up. As you see in the music, that roll on F, the next roll is on C, which is above. So go to the right. So let's go ahead and attack that C when we get there. there. We go. So here is measure two. Ready? Go. Notice I didn't connect it and go. Disconnect. Okay? And then we get to measure three. I show you that from here you have this roll. I actually switch put, to put my left hand on the bottom. Okay? Now we're just doing descending scale here. C, B flat, A flat, G. Okay, but in time, ready, go. Again, ready, measure three. Ready, and go. Okay, now after that G roll, this is not connected to your B flat. So we have the right hand on top so we can lead right to the B flat. So you hear that's not connected? Ready? Go. And I'm rolling nice and low and fast. So let's put some of that together. So let's do the first two measures together. One, two, first two measures, and go. Switch. Again, beginning. One, two, first three measures, and go. Let's 
do four measures. One, two, ready, go. four to measure five from that B flat roll, we just start descending there. So notice when you have stepwise motion just going down. Okay, so we have A flat, G, F, F. When we reattack the F, it's not tied, and it's left hand as the music says. Ready, go. Now let's finish the last two measures together. Again, we're descending F, E flat, D. Don't forget your E flat because your key, and then we're back to E flat. Okay, and we're doing a crescendo and a decrescendo. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three, off. Make sure you do not hit on beat four. It's dotted note silent, so lift at the end. Do the last two measures one more time. Ready, left hand. on that four. I don't want to hear a release. Okay, all of theme. One, two, ready, go. one now we are not on the low E flat but you see we're on the fourth space E flat so we're starting on this high E flat and then down to B flat okay I have stickings written in for you let's make sure we know our rhythms first one two variation one go one two and dotted note and one two three one two and three four one two and three and four and one two Three. Make sure you know your rhythms. Perfect. Repeat that if you need to or loop it if you need to or restart it. Okay, the first measure, we know we're starting on E flat. Again, make sure you're looking at your music. Do not memorize this or learn it by rote. Look at your music and see what I'm talking about. E flat and then low B flat back to E flat and our left goes up to F on the dotted note. Let's do that much. Ready? Go. One, two, and dotted note. Again and go. One, two, and dotted note, and now we're adding that and on A flat, and then we descend to G on the next measure. Ready? Go. One, two, and dotted note, and one. Again, ready? Get the stickings. Right, left, right, left, right, left, two, last time, and go. One, two, and dotted note, and one. Okay, we're on the second measure of variation one. Measure nine, so this is G, B flat. Now that is a weird kind of a left right, but I'm setting up my right hand to be on top on this roll. So we have G, E flat, which is a third, which is why it went from space to space. And then we go up a stepwise motion to that F roll. One, two, ready, go. We go up to the high right, C, let's ready. do it again. Ready and go. Let's move on. So this is measure 10, which is the third measure of variation one. We are just descending, just going down the scale in a rhythm. One, two, and three. I put a double left. I underlined it so you would see it. And again, we have this third from G to E flat, but now a double left. Ready, and go. Again, and go. Ready, and go. Okay, and then we kind of have a sequence because it goes high, down, down, down. So you went, and now you're going. So that's called a sequence when it's the same pattern but different notes. 
So B flat down the scale, ready and go. Now check out the sticking, it's right, right, ready and go. Again, and go. Now after that F, we drop down to our B flat, and we're just going up stepwise motion in the key. Okay, and then we have a low B flat like we just did uh, as a quarter note, and then we roll on the E flat. So I'd like to put these last two measures together. So measure, so measure eleven and twelve together. This is the, this is the fourth and fifth measure of variation one. One, two, ready, go. Okay. Do it again. Ready and go. All right, let's take three measures. Variation one, three measures. One, two, ready, go. Dotted note. Put your third there. Break. Left, left, right. Do it again and go. Dotted note. Left, left. Okay, let's do the whole thing, all of variation one. One, two, ready, go. Dotted note. All right, variation two. We're no longer on our high E flat, we're on a low E flat again. Look at the stickings. We have left, right, left, right. And let's go ahead and look at our rhythms. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and one, two, three. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three. So make sure at the end you're going up to the high E flat. Okay, so let's start learning this with dynamics at the same time. So we have our left and then our right going down to D. So you notice it went E flat, D, E flat. Those are within a half step of each other. And then we did a third. Okay, ready and go. Ready and go in. Ready and go in. Okay, now look at the, the next, next half. We have F, E flat, F, A flat. Now again, that's, uh, again, that's stepwise motion. Left, right, left, and then we move up a third. So that's another sequence. Okay, so notice when you have the same shape but different notes. Ready and go. Again, ready and go. Crescendo. Last, last time, go. Okay, now we have the second measure of variation two, measure 14, is G third, and then we jump down to a fourth. And I have the stickings, and then we jump up to high C. So make sure you're ready to jump up. Keep your eyes on the music. You can't memorize this. It's not going to be successful. you got to keep your eyes on the music 90% of the time. One, two, ready, forte. Dick crescendo. Again, and go. Last time. All right. Now we have a new sequence that's occurring. Double check your stickings here. Third measure of variation two, measure 15. I put a double left in here. Down the scale. Ready, go. Down the scale. Ready, go. Now, if you look, we have the, the next three notes are the same notes, but now we're not doubling and adding an extra G. Okay, so we're going down three notes, down four notes now. Look at your music. Okay, ready and go. Now, after that G, we go up a third to B flat. Okay, so let's add that B flat. And then we descend to an A flat. So we're ending and one, and one. That's how we're ending. So let's put that together. Ready and go. Kind of a sequence there. Last 
this time, mezzo forte. Okay, now let's continue. Let's keep learning on this sequence. We're just going to continue down four notes. So we just did four notes down, and then we're doing four notes down. Four notes down again. So, so let's start in measure 15, the third measure of variation two, and just continue that four note variation. Ready and go. Next four notes. Ready and go. Four notes. Four notes. Ready and go. Right, left, left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, if we can look ahead here after that F, we're in the fourth note of the fourth measure of variation two. We go up a third to A flat, and then it's stepwise motion. Down this scale. So we do a third and then down this scale. So we have, ready and go. Down four notes, third down this scale. Ready and go. Four notes, four notes, third down this scale. Okay, and now we're about to jump up from that G. We're about to jump up to the high E flat, like on your music. Make sure you're checking out your music. And we're going up. So we have a pretty simple, we have a pretty simple sequence there. Left, double right, low B flat, and E flat, okay? Left on top. Again. Let's try that from the third measure of variation two. One, two, ready, go. Okay, all of variation two. One, One, two, ready, crescendo. All right, variation three. We're starting on the first bass F, so we're down here. We have a fourth. And now we're not in the key of E flat, we're in the key of F. Okay, now look ahead, the fourth measure, fifth measure, we have some accidentals. So they are bringing back E flat, they are bringing back A flat. So some so, of this is in the key of F and some of this is in the key of E flat. So be careful, let's review the F scale. Ready, in hotel. So there's only one flat. And sometimes they are going to play the A flat and E flat. Okay, so be careful here. Make sure you're reading, highlighting, marking what you need to. Let's okay, go let's over go. the rhythm for variation three. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, a four, and one, and two, three. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, e and a two. Four and one e and a two. Four and one, two, three, four. One e and a two e and a three. Okay, so that's very much similar to our snare rhythms. All right, so let's start learning this. So we have a low F and a low C. We have a double right coming up. So we're kind of keeping our right hand on this F. We're ready and go. One, two, and three again. One. Now on that G, after the double right, we have a dotted note of four in. And we're just doing stepwise motion. And then we have a third. And then we have our A natural, not an A flat. So you keep your right hand on the bottom. Ready? Uh, ready and go. Three, a four, and one, and go. Three, a four, and one. Look at your music. Three, a four, and one. Slow it down if you need to. One, two, one, uh, last time. All right, let me hear that first measure. Ready and go in. Again and go. All right, so the second measure of variation three, we have a double right going from A, G, F. So that's just down the scale. Down the scale, and then we have a roll, and there is a, there is a slight break to that D. So don't roll, don't connect the roll from G to D. Ready and go. Okay, 
So let's do the first two measures. One, two, ready, go. Okay, so we're at our high D, and we are just going stepwise motion down. Now we do have a third right there from A to F, okay? Decrescendo. Ready and go. Ready and go. And last time, go. Stepwise motion, then a third. Now we're about to go to A. So we just went here, and now we're on our A flat. Okay? Now after the A flat, we're just going down the scale. Okay, so we're going A flat, down the scale. Then just move the right hand over. Look at the music. Now it's a third, E flat, G. Now even though they didn't mark E flat, they don't have to because that E flat before lives for the rest of the measure. Then we restart. Play that measure. Ready and go. Go ahead and add the next note measure on measure 22, which is the F on the left hand. Ready and go. Again and go. Okay, so let's take the first four measures all together. Ready and go. Okay, repeat that if you need to. All right, so we're at measure 22. This is the fifth measure of variation three. We have 16 notes, one A and a two. And that's just going up the scale, and we're back to no A flats. Ready and go. Left, right, left, right, left. Ready and go. Ready and go. Two. So that's just down the scale. So A flat, A, G, again, no A flats. Make sure you're reading the music. It's just descending in stepwise motion. So let's play all of 22. And Ready and go. Uh, again. You have time on that half note to look ahead on your music. Do not memorize all of this. Read your music. Okay, now we're again, we're doing a sequence. Now this is right, left, right, left, right, but it's again up the scale just like we had. But it's starting on G, okay? And then we have a half note. Instead of going B flat down the scale, we're going C down the scale, okay? So there's a sequence going on here. Make, Make sure, sure you're seeing what sequences look like, okay? So we have, wait, again, and go. Okay, so let me hear 22 and 23. Ready and go. Two, again, and go. Okay, now we have some simple quarter notes that are decrescendoing. Down the scale, then a fourth. Okay, see so that stepwise motion, space, line, space. And then we're dropping to a low C fourth. Ready and go. Ready and go. Now we're back to that F. Now we're doing up the scale to B flat. Okay, and then we're going down the scale to E. So your right hand's already set. Then finish on that F and take out the rest. So we have uh, again. Now because it's quiet, I think I will go for the edge of the edge here and not reach so I don't accidentally accent that B flat, but I could go right here on a softer dynamic. And because it's faster. Uh, again. Okay. All of variation three. One, two, ready, go. OK, 
okay? Slow it down, rep that if you need to, go back if you need to, rep and refine. Variation four. Okay, so we're starting on our same F that we started on on variation three, but we are starting on our left hand. Let's go ahead and look ahead. We are still in the key of F, and we do have some E flats coming back. Now they're adding some D flats and throwing in some A flats again. Uh, so we gotta pay attention to a lot here. Okay, let's get the rhythm. Ready and go. One and a two B and a three and four and one E and a two E and a three. One and a two and three E and four. One E and a two B and a three. All right, so let's uh, start unpacking this bad boy. So we have F and then we're going up the scale. That's just a scale. Not too loud. Only B flat. Ending on your right, starting on your left. All right, not too bad. Now, let's look at these eighth notes. We have F, C, A, C. What is that? F, C, A, F. Now, that is the, that is the F arpeggio. But we're only focusing on the top three notes. Okay, so this is why we learn our arpeggios so we can see that when we see it in music. Okay, so let's try that. Ready and go. Ready and right hand. Now let's add the last note, which is B flat, make the connection. All right, first measure. Ready and go. Two, again, and go. Okay, now let's look at the second measure of variation two. Again, we're doing 16th notes up the scale. They're adding E flat, so be careful, and the E flat's good for both E's, okay? So we have up the scale, the top note is F, so that's nice, because that's the highest note we've had so far. And then we're going back down. After D, look, it goes down a third to B flat, and then back to C, so. You gotta practice finishing with this third and then the C. That's how we're gonna end this. Okay, but we start with the scale. So your right hand stays on the bottom at the end and your left stays on the top. And you can slow this down if you need to. Let's have the dynamics. So it kind of crescendos naturally. As you get higher, get louder. Okay, first two measures. Ready, go. Slow that down, repeat it if you need to. Okay, now we have our first D flat, and we kind of have a sequence here, so let's learn it in four notes. Let's learn it in four note increments. So we have, just going down the scale. D flat, ready, and got A flat too. Learn that, go. Then we have a C, and then down the scale, so it's the same kind of thing. So we ready and go. Now let's get it with the right rhythm with only one eighth note in between. Ready and go. So notice you can leave your left hand on that A flat, okay? Ready and go. And then we just add an F at the end going stepwise motion from G to F, okay? Ready and go. Ready and go. Without rushing this time. Okay, now let's look. After that F, we jump up to B flat. We get our A flat still. And we do not have an E flat here, so be careful. We're going down the scale end. So that's the first four notes. Just descending. Okay, after this, we have a double right on the GF again. So it should sound exactly the same as the other GF. Ready and go. Make it sound the same. Ready and go. And then we end it with E flat, third up to G, and then bring the left hand. Look at your music. You got a third, line line space. Line space. So we have and go. So I'm trying.
trying to do efficient stickings where we don't have to do if I didn't do the double it would be to have all this mixing going on so the double helps us not to get our hands all twisted up okay so let's take all of variation four ready and go Okay, slow it down, get the details on that, select those measures, and rep it at a slower tempo if you need to. All right, variation five, almost done, guys. So we are starting on a low C, just, and let's go over the rhythms for a second. Now we're still in the key of F, so only one B flat. Occasionally they're adding an E flat, again a D flat, and an A flat again, sometimes E flat at the end, and A flat as well. So you just gotta keep your head on a swivel with these accidentals. Let's get the rhythm. So it has a pickup. So I'll go one, two, three, four, E and a one. Okay, it has a pickup. So we're going to count to four and then play right away on the E. So think about your 16th notes. So your 16th notes are this fast. So you'll think one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Again, ready? One, two, three, four E and a one. Okay, now let's keep going. One, two, three, four. Four E and a one and a two and a three E and four and one and a two and a three E and four and one E and a two E and a three and four one and a two E and a three and four. Now that is fast. If you need to slow it down, you can. But the rhythms are very simple, okay? Because we've covered this in duple timing number one. So let's do the first part. So we're going from left hand lead down to C up the scale. Four. Not too bad. So now we have this right, right, left, right, left, right, left to start. Got an A flat there. Now the stickings are a little weird on the end, of, but I'm trying to help you not have to cross over each other. Okay, so make sure you trust my stickings. But we're just going F to G to A flat. Boom, da da dum, da da dum, but with the stickings. stack keep it up okay so let's go from the beginning one two three four one two three four okay, okay now measure 32 we're going down one a n one a n one a n so that's just down the scale super easy and then our right hand's already set on the G. Okay, so we just reattack. Now, if you see down there, we move down to middle C, so we drop down a fifth. Try that. Ready, go. Now the, down the scale. Ready and go in. Ready and go in. Okay, beginning. One, two, three, four. Ready, go. Okay, now we're about to jump all the way to high C. So we went from low C to high C. Okay, so let's do that. Just do the GCC. Ready and go. Again. Ready and go. So you're probably going to have to move your body after that, okay? So let's look at the next measure. So we're on the third measure of variation five. So technically this is measure 33. So we kind of have a sequence here. So we do have the same C twice in a row, but we're going right, left to kind of set up this descending sticking. Right, left, right, left. Ready and go. And now we can keep, as you can see, the underlying double left, keep the left and hit B flat again. So we have ready and go. Now you have that same sequence. So we just had C, D flat, B flat. Now we have B flat, C, A flat. We're going to practice that. Okay, so that goes uh, again. Okay, now we have again this down the scale from A flat. Very similar to the second measure of variation five. 
measure 32. Again, we, it's the exact same measure. Now instead of going up to high C, we're going back to the F. Down to F. So again, you have to recognize patterns that come back to help you. Okay, so let's take the beginning to there. One, two, ready, and go. Alright, so let's look at the last line. We have no E flats. So we're going down the scale up. So this is all stepwise motion. So we're going down, then up. Okay, and then we're going the same thing. So it's kind of a sequence. that you can keep your left hand on the G in between there. Ready and go. And if you need to slow down, slow down. And loop it slow. What's your right hand doing? And your left hand's in between. Okay, loop that, slow down until you get it. Up the scale. Now that's an E natural, so be careful. So measure 36 is relatively easy because you're just going up the scale. Up the scale, F, and you got a double right there. Quarter note is long. Okay, so let's do 35. Ready and go. Again and go. Now at the end here, we're just going F down the scale all the way to F. Okay, now we do have E flats and B flat. So you gotta think about these two notes here because we're adding flats. And let right to left. Hmm. As, you see, as you can see the last measure is just F, F, F. Low, high, low, not that bad. Okay, put that together. And go in. Ready and go in. Okay, so let's do the whole last line. One, two, thirty five, and go. Ready and go. Okay, all of variation five. One, Two, ready, and go. Slow it down, rep it, refine it, go through the tutorial again, chunk it, take it in little bits. Do not memorize. You got to take it slow and look at the music. There are little chunks. You may find sequences that you do memorize, but you got to keep your eye on track. Otherwise, you will get lost.